Hey, this video is straight about kicking game, free gym. If you're here for entertainment, get the hell off my page. Unsubscribe, do all that. Yo, we on the set today. We talking about what it's like to be an Amazon driver. We going first person view in the lanes with the drivers. We gonna see what they say. Let's get it. Bitch, I skip it! Jesky, skip! I could barely read. That's amazing. I used to work at these Amazon buildings dispatching trucks out, DSPs out every day. So I kind of just was already in this and recognized the opportunity that, hey, maybe I Amazon had the program and I just quit and came to work with Amazon. I got a lot of experience with the truck driving, driving, delivering routes, all that type of stuff just from working it. And when I worked at Amazon, they used to make us deliver a route. Like once a year, we had to deliver a route when I worked for Amazon just to get the driver experience to know what drivers are going through instead of just sitting behind a computer being like, why isn't everything always going perfect? Because Amazon like has numbers, so they, they know a route is going to take 10 hours or 8 hours to finish. They already got these numbers, but as you know, in real life, when you get out, out from behind the computer and into the field things can change very quickly and especially out here on delivering routes and starting a dsp i probably delivered over i say 50 to 100 routes probably easily um in my time and i've been a driver so i've seen the good the bad the ugly that comes with driving so yeah it's a tough job i salute my drivers all that we've delivered over seven million packages for people first logistics company um partnered with amazon been going for three and a half coming up on four years here in july yeah, I love the driving game, but um, I love the drivers. I appreciate these are hardworking people. These are some of the hardest working people you'll ever meet. They drive and deliver your essential products. I remember in the pandemic when people couldn't go nowhere, it was the drivers bringing those products to the house, making sure everybody was straight. Um, so yeah, shout out to the drivers. Um, what I like about driving, I like the scenery. It's calm and it's relaxing. I can listen to books. It's a fast paced job. I like the workout. I like, if y'all know my other videos, I love working out. I love hitting the gym. So driving gives me a chance to just really be free. When you think about it, if in job aspect, I've had a lot of jobs, but driving, no managers over me. I'm just literally flowing at my pace. I can listen to music. I can listen to books. I can just get my own pace, my own system and make it happen. Um, so that's why I like driving so much. Just the freedom on the road. Yeah, it's a job, but I'm still, it's not like that much stress involved with it. Um, some things I don't like about driving, like they said, the customers, some of the customers have crazy requests or they try to treat you. I've had drivers who have guns pulled out on them just because they were delivering on the wrong, like they were delivering a package and the person like, I guess act like they didn't know that the person delivering a package, like, I don't know, you ordered the package. I would think if I saw somebody with a blue shirt in the Amazon thing, I wouldn't pull a gun out on them. Also, it's dogs getting chased by people's pets who they think they're only friendly, but they're only friendly to them. Things of that nature. Of course, the rain, the elements, the weather comes with it. Rain, sleet, snow, sunny, we out here making it happen. Um, that can get you uncomfortable, but if you're prepared for the day, you'll be all right. The better you prepare, the better you organize, the better you are more efficient as a driver, the better your day will go. So you got to set yourself up for success early in the mornings by loading your car efficient, organizing your boxes, getting them right. Even if you get out crazy and rushed, you need to pull over into a parking lot and organize your van before you even get started. The more organized you are, the more efficient and the um, more efficient you're going to be and more productive you're going to be for that day. Staying organized, keeping a great attitude. If you like being free, come drive. We got it, man. If not, get my free course. We got all kind of things out for you. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment. Let me know down in the comments what kind of more questions you want me to answer. But um, I got a free course on how to start your trucking company down below somewhere. You can be able to find it. I should just make a whole video just for that. Um, but yeah, that's what it is with driving. If you don't mind, you ask some questions. What is it like being an Amazon driver, man? Oof, Amazon driver? Uh it's a calm. It's calm. Yeah. Being a driver, for sure. Um, get your hours here and there. Yeah. Uh, but it's a peace. It's at peace. When you're on the road, you're driving at peace. You're not really worried about nothing but getting your job done. For sure. But besides that, it's good, man. He's good. Appreciate you. My guy. That's it. Yes, sir. Come on. Hey, how Chill. How you doing? There we go. We got Amazon. They like Amazon. Come on. What is it like being an Amazon driver? Say crazy. You got to go crazy. Um, I feel like being an Amazon driver is pretty cool sometimes, you know? What, what you like about it? That I'm able to just drive and listen to my music, that's about it. What you don't like about it? 
the customers, um, the amount of packages that I get. Yeah. What else? Yeah. The big ass packages that I get. I feel like people don't understand that you can go to the store and get half of the shit that we do. <laughs> there you got it. Raw. Thank you. There you all right. Give us a view. What what you like? What what's something good about being a driver and what you don't like necessarily? Well, right now, this is what I don't <laughs> like being about a driver. Uh, this is this is some tough work. This is the, this is holiday season, man. People want everything and everything, anything and everything. Yeah. But These boxes everything. way bigger than they usually be. Yeah. Everyone's getting you know new new uh, you know. We got an air fryer, we got tables, uh, love seats, uh, you name it, chair rigs. Um, I'm sure there's much more in the uh, totes. Yeah, it's, it's a pretty stressful time of year. But what I like most about being a driver, uh, let's see. I can come home and know I did a hard day's work for the people I care about. Hey, How about right. that, huh? Killed it. That's How about boy. that? That's the man right here. Whoa. That's right, baby. Appreciate it. No problem, bro. Have Thank a great you. day. Call me if you need me. I tried. This superstar Anna, man, her man is pretty loaded today, but she gonna knock it out because she a champion. One of the best drivers I got. Hey! Hey! And she got the phone posits on. She got the kicks. She delivering me. She a real boss. You know I like shoes. I just got the Uggs on today. I'm keeping it. You gotta pipe it up for me. They like you. They be writing in the comments. They like you. <laughs> it's my boy David, one of the best drivers I ever had. Jacob over there, we about to get them. They gonna let you know what you what they liked about driving and what they don't like about driving. I'm here to give you the honest truth, cause every day ain't pretty. It ain't all laughs and smiles and he he. It's be some rough days Always out on that road. So right, we gonna talk to the real drivers to tell us today. Elevated drivers, man. They they been there, done that. Now they up to bigger and better things. Absolutely. Uh, so the best thing I like about being a driver is. You really don't got management up your butt. Nobody is there watching you do this, watching you do that. The only time you actually really get somebody on you is if you're doing something wrong. Don't. The worst thing I hate about driving, I would have to say, is the amount of packages or the ignorant or the ignorant customers we encounter on the road. Uh, I, I remember I told you guys I was I was chased by a tractor trailer out in Seneca. You know. Um, I was chased by chickens, dogs, cats, feral cats. That's probably the worst part about being a, a delivery driver is the unknown when you're out there. Cause, Cause just like Sid said, everything is different. It's not the same. You are never gonna come here with the same day you had yesterday. It's always different, always different, always. Sure. That's good stuff, man. Thank you for yes, that. Sir. I'm going to let you get back to work, man. Right, I don't want right. to hold you up. Yes, and we got big Jacob stepping up, man. What's, What's up? up? Ja Jacob was always the driver. I remember that when we used to sit there, a picture where he was took his shocks off and was walking through the water delivering packages. If you got them pictures, so, let me see them again. I mean, I got to find it, but I do have those pictures somewhere. I'll definitely great. share you. But one of the things that I like about being a driver, I mean, it is definitely like no one's up your ass and you're just, you know, doing your own thing. You're your own person out there. But one thing that I really loved was some of these routes that Amazon had me take was the sceneries, things that I'd never seen before. I would go to the countryside, I would see like, like of course the standard farm animals, but there was one time where I seen bison. I'm just like, a bison? Yeah. They got a bison in their backyard. Yeah, How crazy, crazy is that? that? Is crazy. So, you know, it's, it's, it's about where the route can take you. Sure, you can get the city routes and you're just like, ah, oh, this is pretty bad. But then I'm telling you, you could get some really good routes where you're looking and you're just like, wow, this is crazy. I never never think would think twice to even come out here if Amazon didn't put me out here. And then, you know, you're delivering, you're, you are meeting good people too. You know, it's not just bad people. You know, that is one thing that I don't like about being a driver is that sometimes these customers' interactions, they can be ignorant, you know. It could be something about why are you walking on my lawn kind of thing, you know. And it's just like, oh, I'm sorry, you know, I apologize. Even if you are being nice, you know. They don't care you're being nice. They want to be a little more belligerent with you. Yeah. And it's just like, okay, I'm, I'm sorry. After that, it's just in one ear, out the other. But honestly, yeah, the, one of the best things you could really find is the sceneries out here. It's like really that. nice. I appreciate that, man. Yeah, Customers, if y'all listening, be nice to the drivers, man. We're not, we trying to get you your package. We don't want nothing. We're not trying to do anything. We're just trying to get our job done. So treat the drivers with respect. They're here to do the job. And let's keep going. <laughs> we go. Excuses will get you nowhere. And I'ma let you know, excuses ain't gonna get you nowhere, but listen to me. I learned to deal with excuses though. Like, I even used to suffer from giving excuses out. I ain't gonna sit here and act like I ain't never had no excuses or whatnot. We all do that. Just going forward, 
I try to fight my excuses and battle and that's why I don't do a lot of talking or I don't really say too much or ask people for anything because most people already got a built-in excuse or they try to think they getting over on you and they telling you either are you gonna do it yes or no that's all I want to know and being a boss having employees in a company like literally sometimes it's like you paying people to tell you excuse like I come from the old school like even like football if you miss a tackle it's nobody else's fault but mine like it's no excuse I missed the tackle I'll make the play next time like taking accountability that's lost like in this new era age, everybody always want to blame X, Y, Z is 10 different reasons why stuff don't get accomplished. You really in this with yourself because, I mean, nobody owes you nothing, but people will give you an excuse and then they don't care. They just keep moving like it's nothing. But all the whole time, I really just lose respect for you. You know what I mean? So deal with you. You know what I mean? A certain level of people ain't going to deal with you if you're out here being undependable and getting excuses. So. I suggest you start getting your excuses out the way right now because the further you elevate in life, the less excuses that you're able to get over and give to people. So just keep that in mind. Keep working. Extreme accountability. Be accountable for your action. If you say you're going to do something, do it. I shouldn't have to follow up with you. If you tell me you're going to do something on a certain date and then I got to keep following up on you, I lose respect for you instantly. It's several business deals I done had where I'm, I got to follow. I invested the money and I got to keep following up with the person. Red flag. That's a red flag if somebody asks you for something, an investment or some time or something on a project, but then every time the due date that they said it was coming up is coming, don't arrive. But then when you ask them, they got another excuse and another excuse or, oh man, I would never do that. Like, it's like that. So. Be mindful of who you're doing business with. That's why it's tricky out here, though. But, you know, you live and you learn. They don't stop me. They can't stop me. Can't nobody ruin me. Can't nobody ruin my day or nothing. So just keep it trucking and run with your pack. The more excuses somebody give you, the more distance you need to give them. The more people come through, the more you need to keep them closer and around you. You know what I'm saying? So just pay attention to the action. I always look at the actions, not the word. I might can tell you anything out my mouth, but what am I really doing? You know, that's the part a lot of people miss now in the internet days. They listen to a good video, but they don't look at the person's track record, like what they really in the field doing. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people can tell you how to start a business, but where's their business actually? Like, do they really have one? Or they can just tell you from a book or from a podcast or from a youtube video that they don't watch are they regurgitating information are they regurgitating information or are they really out here operating and executing in the field so be mindful of this stuff out here man you just got to be mindful paying attention know how to see through i ain't gonna lie though it's 2024 it's real tricky 2023 2024 is real tricky out here man it's tools ai it's a lot of stuff out here to make people look like they know what they talking about and they still don't know what they talking about so be mindful pull their card ask for the proof trust but verify don't just put your blind faith ask for the results who have you did x y and z for what's your resume let me see your resume is it solid you know what i'm saying do references get some references do some background checks on these people man see what's going on before you do business with them just be mindful of, of who you out here working and operating with that's it for that one make sure you like subscribe comment this your boy sydney yeah, seven million packages delivered. I can show you the screenshots, the receipts. I probably gonna do that. Seven million packages delivered, many employees, people first logistics. Let's get it and we go.